Okay. Oh, all right. So guys, it's classic winners here. I'm gonna be talking about uh, some MySQL collations. There are a lot of relational database management systems out there. Uh, the popular ones are. Let me find it real quickly. Uh, yeah, popular ones are Oracle, Microsoft Access, uh, MySQL. Uh, there is the uh, Microsoft SQL Server implementation, and that doesn't belong here. So. But I'm going to be talking about my skill collations simply because it's something that a lot of people ignore and then stress about when it's time to reallocate, uh, relocate a database. And it's not really hard, so this will be a short video. And it's nothing really compared to having a sc to scrap your current schema and porting it for use for key value stores and cloud DBs. So uh, let's get started. Um, so right here is a MySQL documentation for the supported character sets and collations. Uh, this is 5.6, so I'm going to go to 5.5 because majority of databases still use 5.5. Okay, and there's really not much of a difference. Uh, still over 70 supported collations, 30 supported character sets. And, you know, uh, you know when you choose a character set, uh, y you consider the language, but you also consider uh, data type and coding and whether it's good for sorting efficiency or not. So... Uh, this is kind of spontaneous as, uh, for video, so if I miss anything, I'll make a rata video afterwards. And uh, so here is the what is it? Uh, where are you? Okay, so Latin one Swedish uh, CI that's pretty popular among the tables you'll find on your database databases, and I'm going to be focusing on the UTF-8 Unicodes, so the general CI. And the Unicode character sets are here. And this is basically a Unicode video. So I'm going to be talking about kind of the differences between the main three Unicode uh, character sets that are being used. So that would include Unicode um, underscore bin, Unicode underscore CI, and probably Unicode underscore general dot CI underscore CI. And uh, so many use general CI for basically pure performance because all the derivatives of the base letters are converted for uh, base comparison so this would uh, this would mean that this is not quite it but uh, basically it doesn't support ligatures which um, uh, let's see here um, uh, yeah not maverick ligatures there here it is uh, here they are so what it does is uh, general CI usually convert this to one letter of base representations and so it's faster, but it's not really good for languages like German, Russian, uh, Serbian, I think. And li those ligatures are supported by the Unicode CI, not supported by General CI. And bin is case in sensitive. So things like uh, so Jonathan or John and John spelled with a capital J would be interpreted differently in the uh, from John. Uh, with a lowercase j and uh, this is all only for uh, MySQL at least the uh, MySQL side uh, string comparisons it's basically transparent to PHP to the PHP code so don't worry about your PHP code but uh, again if I guess you're using a cloud DBS system you're gonna have to uh, work around the specific API for it uh, yeah, this actually gives this pretty good examples of the um, collations. I didn't even see this before. Um, and uh, the ligature properties. So, um, basically pretty simple. Uh, what else is there? I think that's it for now. Um, again, sorting Unicode CI is better. But I think that's about <coughs> it. Okay, cool.